Hey guys, and welcome to another C++ programming tutorial. Um, today I will be going over the basics of operator overloading, which is uh, quite an advanced topic, which is um, why uh, I'm not going to be covering everything today. Um, I will be go going over more of it uh, later on when we get further into C++. But for now, I will go over the basic concepts and some basic commonly overloaded operators, which I will show you how to overload. So here I wrote myself a very simple class called my class. Um, everything in here is public because I do not want to make things more complicated than they already are by adding private stuff. Um, and this also makes ease of access. Uh, yeah, now on to operator overloading. Operator overloading is a feature of C++ that allows you to use built-in C++ uh, operators like plus, uh, multiply, divide, minus, uh, greater than, less than, equality, all that kind of stuff uh, with your very own custom classes. And you do this by overloading the operators um, to perform the specific task you want for your particular class because of course um, the built-in C++ operators aren't going to work the same on an int as on your own class. So C++ um, won't be able to add two of your classes together unless you provide an, op uh, an operator. So yeah, if we add two my class objects and we try to add them together right now, um, it would not work because um, C++ has no idea how to add two my class objects together. So you're going to have to tell it. Now, an operator in C++ is basically a function with a very peculiar syntax. It has a return type, um, and its name is operator followed by the operator symbol. So the first operator we are going to overload will be an addition operator. Um, so like I said, operators need a return type, and this is going to be a my class. So the return type for our overloaded operator for addition is going to be my class because usually um, in programming when you add two objects together you're storing that you're not actually changing the value of the two objects um, you're inputting that value storing that value within another um, within another object so it's going to return an object so my class operator so this is how you specify an operator and whenever you have an operator that takes two arguments, um, the first operand um, will be the one that the function is being called on, and the second operand will be passed in through an argument. So we need an argument, my class, and I will make this pass by value because I really don't want to be modifying, accidentally modifying um, the value of the actual object, and C, like that. And now, while we're at it, let's also overload. Um, let's overload an uh, comparison operator. Let's overload the uh, equality operator. So bool, uh, because it returns true or false if it's equal or if it's not equal. Operator equals equals. This will also take my class MC. So I think that's enough operators for now. These aren't the ones that you normally would overload, but uh, for now it's good. Operator plus my class MC. Now what we want to do here is create a new object. So my class and then we're going to use our constructor that takes an int which of course sets num to that uh, argument because when we add two my class objects together uh, I want them to basically add together the int num variables so what I want to do is take num plus mc dot num so we're creating a new um, object by calling the constructor and passing in um, the sum of the two nums and then we're returning that object, my class, like so. So that's, oh, sorry, my class, I forgot to give it a name. 
let's just put M return M. There we go. Now my class wait, sorry, we're going to have bool here. And then my class operator equals equals my class MC. Now return um, we're gonna s return uh, m num equals equals mc dot num. So that is how you uh, overload those. It was quite simple. Basically, what this does is makes a new object, initializes its num variable to the sum of the nums of the two operands, and it returns that object. Um, for this one, it checks to see if the num of the first operand equals the num of the second operand and if it does it returns true if it doesn't it returns false so those are two simple operators that we overload so now we can create two um, objects and we can add them together say 5 m say 4 and then my uh, a uh, a equals m c plus m c out a dot num and then let's see um, yeah, that should be good for now. Let's uh, check this out. Uh, let it build. Okay, now it's running. And it says 9, which is 5 plus 4. If we had tried to do that before we had these two operators, it would not have worked. Well, actually, uh, it would work if we didn't have this one, but you know what I mean. Um, but the operator that's most likely to be overloaded is actually the assignment operator, which is the single equals. And that assigns one object to another object. So what we're going to want to do is void operator equals takes my class MC and basically when you um, whenever you have a copy constructor that you define by yourself you should also have uh, an assignment operator that you overload because usually when you define your own copy constructor, it means that it um, the normal member by member copy does not work, which would also mean that the operator ass the assignment operator also uses the member by member copy, which means it would not work either. So whenever you have your own copy constructor, uh, make your own assignment operator. Now void my class operator. equals my class MC but um, for this one it will be actually be the same so MC dot num equals num so that's um, the basics of operator overloading um, just to recap operator overloading is basically a function of C++ that allows you to use built-in C++ um, uh, operators for your own custom classes. Um, something I didn't go over was the basic rules of operator overloading, so I'll do that now. Basically, when you're overloading an operator, you can do just about what you want um, with it, so you can make it your own. But there are, um, like just like function overloading, there are a certain set of rules that you must follow. Um, first of which is there are um, some operators that you are not allowed to overload. Um, the first of which is um, both of the member selection variables, um, the dot and the arrow. 
You are not allowed to overload those. Those have to stay the same. You cannot overload the scope resolution operator, which is these two colons here. Um, yeah, I think that's just about it. And also, you cannot create your own operators. They have to be operators that, that are built in to C++. Um, you cannot change um, the uh, order of precedence for operators. You cannot make addition be evaluated before multiplication, stuff like that. Um, you cannot change the number of operands that um, an operator takes. So you can't make the plus operator take only one argument, take only one operand. Um, oh yeah, and also you cannot overload the ternary operator, which is the question mark colon thing. And yeah, I think that's basically the concept of operator overloading. Um, the most common one that you'll see is um, the uh, operator equals the assignment operator. That's the most common one that is overloaded. So, yeah. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe, rate. If you have any feedback, questions, or comments, please feel free to leave them uh, in the comment section below. And, yeah, thanks for watching.